On this edition of Terriers Take 5, track your mileage. The Terriers joined in on the Brian Honan 5K. Real Terriers wear pink. BU athletes came out in full force at Making Strides Boston. And check the charts. The number 17 field hockey team has a prime ranking. We're still in search of a common denominator on this show. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. Walking usually isn't the speed of play at the Division I level. However, for two consecutive weekends, BU Athletics found their pace for a couple of great causes. On Sunday, September 27th, 40 members of the BU men's rowing team took part in the Brian J. Honan 5K Run Walk in Alston. The 3.1 mile course was to raise money for the Brian Honan Charitable Fund providing scholarships for Alston Brighton school children. Over 1,500 runners participated in the annual event, including 200 runners from across the BU community that were sponsored by the university. Boston Mayor Martin Walsh joined the Sea of Scarlet at the starting line, posed for photos with the Terriers, and then thanked each one personally for their participation. Yeah. You know, I saw that today. I saw the Terriers down here. Uh, I know that Brian would love to see all the, all the kids, the other college kids, but uh, it's great that BU had such a strong presence. And I want to thank BU for that as well. I'm going to have to have a conversation with BC down the street and see what's going on. Over 150 BU athletes set their alarm clocks for an early wake-up as the Terriers helped register participants, direct the walkers, hand out forms, and track donations. Some Terrier teams walked the course with their choice of the two or five mile trek around the Charles River. Other athletes urged the walkers as they were closing in on the finish line. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is the nation's oldest and largest one day breast cancer fundraiser featuring nearly 40,000 walkers each year. The event is held all over the country to continue to raise awareness and money for breast cancer research. And it's so inspiring to see like so many women who have the survivor sash or so many people who have a pace setter, which means that they have donated $2,500 individually, so that's like so much money. It's awesome to see just so many people so excited about the event and like everyone's ringing cowbells and just cheering. It's great. Last season on a show airing around this time, we celebrated BU Field Hockey head coach Sally Starr and her 400th career win as a head coach. Well into the 2015 season, the wins keep piling up as the Terriers have moved up three spots in the national poll to number 17 in the country. Boston University field hockey team stock is on the rise, only evident by a national ranking to the left of BU's name continuing to drop. After starting the season pre-ranked number 20, the Terriers have continued to climb the charts, hitting number 19 following a 2-1 win at Maine on September the 7th. A week later, the Terriers kicked off a three-game winning streak with a 3-0 shutout over Providence, boosting their national ranking to number 17. The Terriers won five out of six games in that stretch of September, outscoring opponents 23-4 in that time. BU's only three losses on the season stand against other nationally ranked foes, number 18 UMass early on, number 10 Boston College, and on the road at number two Syracuse most recently. We really get along as a team, like we know each other and we know our self play. And I think that helps a lot when it comes to playing as a team against other teams that are like kind of all over the place. We just stay together and keep together to our play. I think that's really important. Yeah, definitely. I think coming in with such a good ranking this year uh, really puts um, a target on our back makes people want to beat us and want to improve their ranking as well. One of the main objectives right now is to host Patriot League. We have been doing pretty well against Patriot League teams, so just keep that up and make sure that this year we stay in Boston. The Terriers embark on a difficult stretch to conclude the regular season as five of their remaining seven contests will be on the road. But that will do it for us on this edition of Terriers Take 5. You give us five minutes, we'll give you BU Athletics. Look for the next episode coming out Thursday, October the 22nd. For all news BU, check out the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For producer Leo Parra and our entire crew, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.